Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics Veteran Mode. This is the blind playthrough of impossible difficulty or insane difficulty. My name is Saiken and we are playing the post game. It's time to hunt some supreme weapon mods because I am hooked and the game is really good. We do have a couple of interesting options here. Number one, one unit maximum. And that uh, modifier here is a healing of a thousand health at the beginning of their turn. <laughs> Optional objective, kill or down seven or more enemies using the Overwatch ability. Well, well, I'm not sure how easy this is going to be without dedicated Overwatch gear. So I think this combination of the modifier and the optional objective might not totally be doable but if we can only take one unit i know just the gal for the job rhea torres with all of her beautiful grenades will hopefully rock the boat and get these guys down let's jump right into the mission got intel on a pair of grub torture pods located in a fortified enemy position crack them open and evacuate those prisoners So, I am thinking if the guys don't have more than a thousand hit points, it's actually fine because we can kill them right away. However, if we're looking at like those beefy grenadiers, for instance, with 3000 hit points, we're going to have a problem. Got a Vanguard over there, not necessarily the most damaging unit, and this is, I think, another scout. Well, that's going to be harsh. Focus, uh, yeah, she has a 100% chance of uh, dealing critical hits, but that's about it. Where would we get all of the crates? Four this time. One, two, three, and where is number four? Ah, back here, number four. Okay, I feel like we have already played this map once. Okay, moving. Moving up, and what are we dealing with? Oh, Canthus. Okay, well that is bad. Really, really, really bad. Here goes. The best way to beat the Canthus is... Look, ...make sure that we're taking his drones away. If you put a proxy mine onto someone directly, it explodes. Well, that is good to know. See, I'm learning something new every time I'm playing. That is fantastic. That lets us deal even more damage. Good. The Kentos himself is still a problem. 1,200 uh, hit points. He's certainly not a pushover. Placing another grenade. And we're carefully moving over here to cover. Jack, on the other hand, we need to get to that scout over there but we still got our we still got our gas which could uh, offer us another round of, of invisibility Candace eventually has moved back interesting choice 
On my way. Good, we're carefully planting even more mines. Jack moves up. And I think we've officially quote unquote pulled these guys. So they sh should be moving into our direction. Deviant sniper as far as I can tell. And then potentially another sniper. Oh yeah. Two deviant sni three deviant snipers. Payback time. See, that's a dream combination. Three deviant snipers. Good. Moving up. There we go. One action. We are, hmm. We're giving ourselves the sniper aura. For the next Ready. turn. We can't kill them this turn and potentially they will just heal up. But still, this is going to send a message. Oh, I forgot. We do not have a cloak. Well, it's like, and that is a bit suboptimal, shall we say. Okay, Fighting on. against these guys without proper protection. Oh boy. Well, luckily we can escape the marking. Just staying hidden for now and we are going to get that other scout they are going to heal anyways there's no point in trying to uh, to get them down now just keeping our cloak and next to a double grenade or something time to do some damage Good. We're moving up here. And this should be a double whammy. Not enough to get them down. That modifier absolutely stinks. I could kill them, but 
this guy would move around and eventually kill us. So what we gotta do is, I hate to do that. Move up. And prevent us from being hit. the grenade work wow more enemies well this will be a difficult maneuver to get through all of them Can we get a bit closer? That's already pretty damn good. Grenade out. It kills one, nice one. without exposing Order. us. On the move. Good, moving up. That's an interesting gameplay that this mission supposedly wants us to do. Outgoing. Oh wow, we have four turns cooldown. Well, that's, this is going to be even more fun. Well, luckily we got the support aura for some cooldown reduction. And whilst we're at it... Let's use the damage aura here. Ready for anything. Ah, we're not overwatching. Don't need to reload. Might as well just hide for now. I still want sniper on the loose. Jack very soon needs to go and get that third pod. These guys are a problem. We got eight turns to get here and open the pot. That should very much be doable. I'll wait with Jack until the, uh, the air clears. They're in a sec. Okay, we got cloak, so we're good. One down. Cloaking up. And planting another grenade. I'm not okay. I'm pretty sure they will not move all the way up to us. And we theoretically would have cloak as well. For now, I would prefer though if we could just stay hidden Moving to position. and move back. Jack on the other side begins to move out because he has unlimited cloaks. He can just move over and pull the other pack and rescue. So this is a problem because his damage reduction of course couldn't couldn't come at a worse time
10% chance of hitting her. Uh, here. Still Stand staying aside. hidden for now. Don't have any cooldowns. We, we can go hidden. Anticipation is a bit too late now. Sure if you said last turn. We have anything else? No, we don't. Affirmative. Moving up. <sighs> and there is a decent chance to hit this guy, but not kill him, I guess. Can't afford to stay on um, on, on normal Overwatch. That just wouldn't work. Instead, what we're going to do is I'm wondering if we're just cloaking and meeting up over here. Plenty of enemies around. We do not want that. Taking position. So back into the south here. Come on, then. Don't waste my time. Could have used anticipation this time. Seventy percent toughened. That's harsh. Time to go. Okay, we got company. We got that sniper. Got a few over here. I am wondering. to hit myself so that's a no-no to the explosion. Gotta be out of line of sight. Let's move. And out of their reach. So this guy will be interrupted one way or the other. If I'm just going to hide back here, would that make a difference? Hmm. He takes damage, he could then run into us. Okay. By moving yet into another Orders. into another mine. Three turns until 
until anticipation uh, until we can start to cloak again this guy here is a problem but so are these two could move up take a shot so can't stand there but we can stand back here which should be really far enough away and use anticipation that's out of line of sight Okay, hiding. That turn did not uh, turn out to work as I wanted it to work. And it's a bit tedious. Should have had both of the scouts uh, stay together. Now they are split and it's even more difficult to kill someone. One at a time. Hit points. Time to do some damage. Is there a window here? No. So the sniper could not move in if we're standing here. Can do. Which is great, because that's exactly where I would want to go. Here comes a friend. That gives us the torque bow, Good work. Uh, which she could potentially use. hit points I see I see how it is Fire in the hole. down to 300 hit points still a sniper I think we can't really outrun the sky. <laughs> now the ability of Jack to control someone would be helpful, very helpful. Let's open up uh, the floodgates and we do have obfuscate which will help us to survive one turn. We might as well also leave a couple of these guys behind and just flee. <laughs> should have used the grenade first okay Jack can make himself invisible again We could kill a couple of uh, these guys. The 
which we're going to do next turn. By a charge into then running away even further. And in order to not be killed by the sniper, let's get out of line of sight. Two canvases. Now they can toughen one another. What a nasty combination. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, it just has gotten better and better. I do understand why these are veteran missions. This guy is toughened. You got it. Moving over. Good old bayonet charge. And I think we ha uh, we have bad as skilled. Right here. Good. We're becoming invisible. There in a sec. Let's make sure that this guy is not doing anything stupid or just planting a nice little grenade as a surprise gift for him. And next up I am going to deal with the sniper. Good, we gotta get away from all of the trouble and we gotta regroup somehow Affirmative. next turn we got the cloak ability and the one thing that this scout build Order. can do is just run away incredibly well I don't want to botch it now, so what we're going to do is going to make ourselves invisible here. That's it. No partial hits are not no good. We got to get the real hits. What we can do is we can plant a grenade. And Jack takes the sniper aura. One proof critical chances. Just getting started. Good. The hammer burst drone has just found uh, the one uh, grenade that I planted there, the mine. Those two cantuses continue to help one another. Okay, so he is gone. Great.
I'm impressed. Good, moving all the way up here. If I was to throw a grenade, that would potentially not kill him. Uh-huh. Let's sink uh, sink our cl uh, cloaks. So on the move. Getting over here. We're still fine on this end. Potentially better when we're starting to move over. Okay, and Jack, by the way, start collecting the valuables. This one is potentially too far away. But leaving without any epic case would be a bad idea. Alright, we're just ending the turn. Next up, hey, we're right. killing the Deviant Drone. This is the Welcome most down. stealthy mission that I've seen in a while. All of them, and I really yeah, mean all of them, are looking for us. Cooldowns ready, that is bad. Waiting. Hmm. Can we somehow manage to give over okay. more cooldowns? We can tell them to hunker down. Arguably, we're doing since a while. Scanning now. This here would get him out of cover into a free line of sight, and the overwatch shot should trigger right afterwards and misses, of course. Good. Eight hundred twenty. If we were to hit him from straight up. Okay, moving. Okay, that's the kill I was looking for. Go ahead. got an extra AP here. Hopefully this healing will not mean that he gets up from a down state. That would be particularly lame. Gotta deal with that with that problem child here as well. Payback time. Drag out. Twenty-three percent. Can we do better? Yes, we can. Time to give us another 
extra point. Thank you. Waiting. Jack continues yeah. to collect all of the cases. And if we have three out of four, I would say for this particular mission, that's a win. Ooh, for the first time, we got everybody lined up together. Now, the a difficult part is yet to come, I fear. Roger that. Because the grenadiers and so on are still on the loose. Placing a couple of mines here and there. Bring them on. And anticipation. Yep. Did we have a torque bow that dropped? I think it dropped here, but it must have despawned already. Because that would have been a really nice help now. Having that extra oomph. Here we go. More pain incoming, shithead. Okay, well, soon we got our. Oh, we man. regain oh, our cloaks. Time. Let's see how well that is going to turn out. Certainly a problem against 3,000 hit points. Time to make a move. Ready. Yes. One more turn. We got the cloak ability now. Okay. Two more turns until until we can smoke capsulate, which is going to be our lifesaver here. Jack just yeah. hides for now. Moving up as far as we can. That's not even going to leave a scratch. I will need that cooldown to get him down. All right. Two turns of being hidden. What are we dealing with? One boomer. I'm moving out. Hey. Don't even want to get into trouble here. Just in case the boomer somehow manages to move uh, to move all the way over here. But we really gotta focus fire this guy. Three thousand hit points and he heals a thousand. On the upside, if we get his boomstick, that's a lot of damage. out Drag out Standing by Ok 
Okay. Cloak. And we are definitely moving up. Next turn, I hope that everybody can pile, out, uh, pile up on him. Jack moves up. We could uh, head over extra action points next turn. Yeah. He continues to hide. And I'll just go out of uh, reach. I don't. Uh, I don't want to take any risk. Next turn we can move in. But I just saw we had badass, so that's a 75% damage reduction. Good. Some more grenades. Uh -huh. Let's try to hit him from behind here. That might shift him forward into the other grenade. This guy's just not moving at all. Um, I think we're we're limited on the options here, so. I would like everybody to kind of get that extra shot, or these extra shots, rather. No problem. We will place a zone right there, if needed, of course. So that could cover all of us, okay, good. Sniper aura for extra crit damage. Grenades That's can't crit, way. but the rest can. Here, that. It's down to 500. anyone else close no I think we're fine yeah now that would be three turns I I don't trust that carefully moving up and that's all we can do at this point of course, planting additional grenades. Good. Check heights. And Raya just overwatches. We really have not much to do here. Reload. 
Are we seeing more reinforcements? You're kidding me, right? No, we're not. It seems they continue to be coming. Shell shock, wonderful. That's exactly what All we don't right. need. Accuracy and movement range reduction. Vanguard on standby. Scout out is obfuscate uh, ready again? Yes, it is. Welcome. But we're taking the boomer. It's obvious, Kate. That way he's hidden. And let's wait until Shell Shock is gone. What's the plan here? On my way. Next turn we should be okay. Did anybody get hurt? No. We're fine. Ready for anything. The one thing that is a problem is if they are moving in and He's still standing there, the explosion will trigger. So let's just use that damage reduction, please. Ready. Eyes open. Good. I think once we have killed both of these guys, we should be fine to effectively get, get out of here. Shot would deal quite a bit of damage. Another turn. Reading you. Can we somehow get an extra AP? No, we can't. Awaiting orders. We do have two boom, uh, sh uh, boom shot uh, shots. We position us over here, and then essentially throw both of them over. Can do. Boom shot shots and our explosion. Can we reach them with a grenade from here? The answer is yes. Here goes. Scout reporting in. Good. We're not ready to approach yet, but Bring next turn with anticipation we are. I 
need you. Acknowledged. Moving okay. over. Giving over evasion and Jack essentially helps them. Reduces cooldowns and I'm not sure if we should stand too close. I'm not sure if uh, this gas will actually help uh, to pre uh, help to deter them or if they have an indirect fire. So far it made us very much invisible. These guys technically should move over here. Okay, works like a charm. That's one hit. Well, we move in. Hit number two. Jack very much moves up. Accuracy and damage. Yeah, I think the damage really will not matter that much. But we can help our scout. Is that a kill shot? No, it's not yet. I read you. Acknowledge. We do have cloak if uh, needed. Down to 37, are you kidding me? What's next? That's a kill. Thanks to our critical strike. Ooh. And we're picking up more of those boom shots. They are fantastic. We will give it uh, to our scout. And then it's time to get out of here. Those uh, three boomers Orders. were a major problem. Got a cloak ability. So we're going to scout. What's next? Yeah, we shouldn't just rush in. The problem is if we're I'm just rushing and no one else can follow us. That's not really a good idea either. Go 
good. Hopefully we can just get out of here. This is a tough mission, just mechanically tough um, and very much drawn out. Does Jack have the small capsula? He does not. But Jack has movement uh, for everyone. Moving out. There's the objective. Charging in. It's one Go down. Ahead, I read you. Moving up with the boomsticks. Just get both of these guys down. Keep them coming. And we're hiding. Moving up. Ready. And coincidentally, we have another sprint. That's a kill. Uh, that could be a kill. As soon as this guy moves, he has a problem. We're taking cloak. Here we go. And Rhea begins to move to the exit zone. Nicely interrupted. Now it's our turn. Go ahead. Yes. All right. Another grenade. And there is a torque bow if we would uh, be in the need of one. Luckily, we are not. And since Jack is super fast, that is the end of the mission, finally. Wow. That was hide and seek. Ultra hide and seek. So 120 points of damage, um, that looks, I don't know, I think like a heavy modification. And we have two potential rewards. I wonder if these soldiers are coming in at level 7, or if they would be coming in at level 6 still. It feels like level 6 is kind of the absolute minimum here.
Good, and we got promoted to level 7. Hell yeah, that is great. I don't know how I would have done the Overwatch objective, not with that team. These guys are both level 6, so... Lots of great gear. In terms of additional skill points... Um... I know we waited for level 7 in order to eventually get to that escape route. And the finisher. Let's see if this plans out. So sprint was good. Fantastic. Frag grenade. Uh, mastery. That's not even a question. Proximity mine. Yes. Proximity mine number level 2. Good, and now we got either Cloak skill duration increased by one turn, which was very helpful, or whenever unit kills an enemy with a shot, reduce unit's frag grenade throw ability. And that is already reduced to one to one turn. That's, I think that's already down to one turn. The free cloak ability was great for... Uh, for momentum so we would be losing that it was really good for momentum uh, just keeping up the speed the extended cloak was also quite helpful The escape route, on the other hand, would offer a completely different play style. So... We would use uh, the passive reduction. Uh, this unit's frag grenade ability no longer removes the hidden status. Uh, that is excellent. Now, double shot is great in itself. When this unit uh, shoots whilst uh, it's hidden, it gains uh, extra damage. That's also good. Finisher. And this is the ability I was hoping for. So we would get that. Wound target gets 100% uh, critical strike bonus. This unit gets 40% crit chance on the first uh, magazine. Don't need that. We got a uh, legendary item. And now it's just a question. Do we go escape route? Or do we go assassination? Um, which seems also tempting with that extra action point. So this here reduces that whole shot down to three, which is very manageable. And this uh, escape route essentially gives us a means to, uh, to, to go into stealth without using our active cloaking. So first time this unit kills an enemy with a critical hit or an execution in a turn, unit is granted the hidden status effect. You can't do it over and over, but it still is worth it. So let's say we're hidden. By the way, together with Extended Cloak and Assassination, I think this build would be fantastic. Uh, the unit is essentially, let's say we're hiding um, and we're, we're, we're starting in the middle of enemies with um, the grenade and the finisher we should have a very solid chance of uh, killing something and we would get an escape route and essentially you continue to um, be hidden whilst throwing uh, frag grenades the entire time this also you could start a turn by just killing uh, killing something uh, with a shot then planting uh, becoming invisible then planting a mine and then moving away. So I can see how that build uh, works well. The um, the one caveat to it is 
I was incredibly comfortable with the build that we've just had and we could alternatively we could alternatively um, scratch all of uh, the ambush uh, stuff and put in more movement and anticipation the anticipation thing isn't bad and it is earlier available. This build here feels like it can work in very well, but it uh, loses the momentum from the free cloak. Granted, you can get that from escape route, so scratch that ability and stalker, I'll even uh, concede that point. The problem that I'm seeing is the extended cloak was incredibly helpful so not having that is a bit of a problem then again do we need the quick shot uh, mm, you know let me try that maybe that's the build we're going into proximity mine proximity mine number two i definitely like that extended cloak and we're going for demolition expert I think we are already at one turn. This here would just allow for grenade, shot grenade, and I've seldomly seen that happen so far. Instead, double shot. Uh, ambush is great. Shots while in hidden gain damage bonus. That's good. This is cool. This is good. And this is good. So I think we got our build. I think this one here could be a banger. Now, if we do get another level, it is definitely it is definitely assassination time because that would give us even more actions and we're definitely looking for quick swap as well. So those are the obvious two choices there. Cool. Uh, looking forward to see how that build plays out, which also brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoy the content, leave a comment and a like down below. And uh, see you in the next Veteran Mode episode. Bye-bye.